Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the program. Today we are playing Fix Me Roulette, everyone's favorite game about technical debt. Uh, so if you're not familiar, the way we play is we get grep for uh, Fix Me or To Do in the Serenity code base, and uh, we shuffle that so that we get a single thing to work on. And today we are picking from 5,513 possible items uh, and well let's just get started so this is going to be about snake game all right food bitmaps append bitmap load from file release value but fix me should propagate errors aha uh, okay snake game line 35 well, <laughs> look at this cluster. Uh, this is going to be a big uh, big bang for the buck today uh, if we take care of all of these. So what is going on here? We are in a constructor. Um, so if we fail to load a bitmap, we cannot propagate that failure uh, because constructors cannot return errors. Um, so this is actually pretty straightforward. We just need to um, apply our typical pattern for things like this, move it out to a um, factory function. So we will have something like error or non null ref footer to snake game, um, snake game create. And then we will um, do all of these in the um, factory function. So what is mfoodbitmap? It's a non-null ref putter vector, sure. So we'll do something like this, food bitmaps, and then we'll just add them all to that local vector here. Click, clickety clack. Um, and we can also do a uh, try. So we wrap these in try, which allows us to get rid of the release value, but fix me should propagate errors because now we use try. So errors will propagate. Um, and then here at the end, I guess we just do something like um, adopt non null ref or enomem. Is that the thing I'm thinking of? I always forget what that thing is called. Yes, that is the name of it. New no throw snake game move the food bitmaps okay and we just got to teach this constructor here to take a um, vector of bitmaps food bitmaps as its input now look at that um bum, 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 bum. graphics bitmap food bitmaps M food bitmaps. We're almost there. Almost there. Food bitmaps. My goodness. Today we are cleaning out a lot of them. So um, <laughs> let's see. I feel good about this. Let's see. Uh, okay, not quite. Not quite. Um, I guess we need to go in the snake main to call the create function instead of what we were doing previously. Yeah, we were doing a try set main widget, which is not quite going to work. We do need to um, we do need to do this in two steps since we've added a custom helper for creating the game. So snake game uh, create. Oh, maybe I didn't even declare that thing. Snake game. I didn't. So that'll just be static, non null ref footer, static error or non null ref footer to snake game. Create. Okay. And then window set main widget game. Yes, I think that is cool. Does that work? I think it might work. How many fix me's are we getting rid of here? That's must be a record. Um, oh, there were lowercase fix me's. 
29. Holy moly. It's like we're going to make an actual dent <laughs> in the fix me's. Um, let's see. Let's see that the snake game still works and that it still has all of the food bitmaps. I know that um, Hecha recently went and replaced the snake's previous diet, which was a uh, vegetarian diet, which I <laughs> I made the snake a vegetarian because I didn't think about that. I'm a vegetarian, so to me it was just natural that I would make the snake a vegetarian. But um, in the interest of, of, you know, scientific accuracy and whatnot, uh, snakes are carnivores, so they should probably have a meat diet. <laughs> anyway, so now, as you can see here, it's just loading a bunch of different, I guess, animal emojis <laughs> for the snake to eat. Also, hello. What is going on with the file system? How large is this thing? I wonder if I have a bunch of ports or something that are just totally nuking them. Well, 800 megabytes worth of root. What did I put in there? Um, mostly lib. Okay, just large libs. Big juicy libs. All right. Um, well, let's just ignore that. Snake. Okay, it's, that's a, a mouse, I believe. Some kind of a lizard. A fellow snake. What the heck? So the snake is actually a cannibal? Not just a carnivore, but a cannibal. Is that a horse? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I'm, I'm not eating the sloth. He's too cute. I'm quitting this game. Um, but yeah, it clearly works. So that is good. Man, 29 fix me is just going out the door. This is uh, this is too good. Snake. Um, propagate. Um, da -da -da -da. Make a factory function for snake game and propagate errors. This uh, fixes a whopping 29 fix me's. That's pretty cool. Um, in fact, it's so cool that it makes me wonder <laughs> Is there something else where there's like a big wad of these? Um, maybe we can just grep for this. So like git grep for that. And then, um, so that gives us this format, right? Where it's like file name, colon, and then the line. And then maybe we just aggregate the file names so we can use awk separate by um, colon print out the first thing before the colon, and then uh, we piped up to unique-c, so we get the count of unique ones, and then we sort that numerically in reverse, so we get, oh no, no, just numerically, so we get it at the bottom. Okay, so 27, we have 27 of them in common actions. So these aren't necessarily all together in a wad like that, but presumably at the end of these lines, yeah, so there's a lot of them here. Um, common actions. This is a bit trickier to deal with these because they're sort of inside of a helper. So the, um, the helper would also need to be made to return error or and then everybody calling that would need to be careful. So that's less straightforward. Cat dog. Cat dog has 22 of these. <laughs> uh, ooh, what is going on here? Wow. This looks like a mess and a half. I bet you we can improve this. This is a textbook wad of <laughs> release value, but fix me should propagate errors. Um, yeah, let's definitely, definitely do something about these. So uh, I guess these are different. These are all the different animation bitmaps for CatDog. So CatDog, if you're not familiar, is our friendly 
neighborhood, desktop, cat, or dog. Some people say that it looks like a cat. Others say it looks like a dog. So it's cat dog. And all of these bitmaps that you see uh, as he or she is chasing the cursor, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's all the bitmaps that we're loading here. So it's like switching between these. Um, bum, bum, bum. But there's no path. Because, yeah, because this is like in the class declaration. We're declaring these fields, and then we're like doing this as part of the initializer. So that's definitely a bit weird. So we need to put this stuff in a factory function. And um, it's less straightforward because we can't just stash them in a vector. Um. Although, how are they used? Like, Northwest run. OK. NW run. Like, how does it choose? Oh, if we're going up and left. Oh, I see. <laughs> this code is a little cute. But I mean, it's such a simple thing. So like, it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, and wait, how does it work when you do like any run to? Northeast run to. Oh, it's just alternating in this way. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess one way we can just do this. One way we can do it is that we can like pass them all in as parameters to the um, constructor. But I was going to say that like we can also just make them ref footer and then have a factory function that creates a cat dog um, object and then assigns to them. And then we we lose the fact that they're not null ref footer, but like it's kind of just an implementation detail. So how do you create one of these things? Cat dog. Where's the constructor? Down here of all places, sure. So let's make um a factory for these. Uh, static error or non null ref putter to cat dog. <laughs> uh, create, create. There we go. Um, okay, and then let's put that puppy at the top here. We are gonna we're gonna do a lot of fix me today. Um, now that we have found a way to get a lot of them all in one swoop, <laughs> we're gonna take advantage of it to get even more. Uh, I mean, like by take by um, taking on these um, wads of same pattern type things. So here we can just try. Um, oh shoot! I guess I should try. Wait, what should I be doing? I gotta try like that, right? Wait, how was I doing it in the other thing? Oh yeah, yeah. The star goes before the try, of course, of course. So like that, and then we nuke that. Right, and then we have to do like cat dog. Okay. Uh, snake game. Right. So for cat dog, we make a new cat dog. No, no ref or you know, mem. If we cannot allocate, all right. And then we assign all of those. And we finally return cat dog. Okay. And this is where we construct the cat dog. So we will do something here like um, try cat dog create. And then we just need to set main widget cat dog widget. No big deal. Cool. Cat dog typo. That's not a typo. Come on, it's going in the dictionary. Um, okay, will this work? 
Not quite. Use a deleted function, you say? Oh, because it's a um, um, not no ref putter, ref putter mismatch. Well, we'll just okay. So these, by the way, should not look like this anymore. Of course, they should just be plain like that. Oops, like that, and then this fella can just be a plain ref putter. It'll be all good. And it doesn't need to be initialized like that. Curve BMP should start as alert. We'll put that in the constructor instead. Uh, cat dog M alert. All right. Will this work? Wouldn't it be cool if it worked? Because at this point, we are down from 55.13 to 5462, an actual little dent. Um, <laughs> this is this is nice. Let's see. Cat dog. Hey, look at him go. All right, all right. So astonishing. Let's commit this. Cat dog. Um, what did I say on the first one? Like make a factory function for cat dog and propagate errors this fixes an astonishing how many fix me's was it again um dang it i forgot didn't i log somewhere i mean i can just diff actually grab fix me wcl 22 Right, an astonishing 22 fix me's. Okay, uh, that is fantabulous. Can we get some more? <laughs> Let's see, hack studio widget. I guess we can look. Fix me should. It's kind of spread out, and there isn't a natural propagation path for these. Yes, yeah, so there's just loading bitmaps, which can fail. Uh, we should still fix these, but it's not not as easy as uh, this first one was. Gallery widget. Oh, Minesweeper. That sounds like it might be easy. Fix me should. Hey, look at that. It's a wad once again. <laughs> These are the ones I like because they're super easy to do, right? We can just do these in a factory function. So the Minesweeper field, static, error, or non-null ref footer to field, create. We'll, we'll just do this. It'll be OK. Um, error, or. No, no, ref pooter to field. Field create. Oh, interesting. When we're creating this, we're already passing in the, um, some labels and stuff. Oh, I guess it's just so it can find the other widgets that it needs to update. That's funny. Um, okay. And then we do these fellas right here. And we also have the number bitmap getting loaded. So we'll put these here. Field is try to adopt non null ref or eno mem new no throw field. Um, I guess I need to pass in all of those things. We'll take care of that in a, in a moment. Field. And all of these need to be try. And all of these fix me's go away. Right. And then we need to pass in these fellas. So Minesweeper main. Where are we making the field? Here. Try add field with these things. Right. So we just need to take the same set of things for our factory function like that. 
and then we will forward these to move on size changed. Yeah, this code is kind of old. It's like one of the um, first games that uh, I made for the system. Probably wouldn't write it in the same style today, but um, it's one of those things where there it's not that interesting to go back and update these simple games to uh, newer patterns, but it does happen over time. And I guess what we're doing right now is applying a newer pattern to an older game. So, um, so it does occur just uh, <laughs> randomly and by different people down the down the road. So for our create function, we do need a little bit more fanciness with the parameters here. There we go. And I think we're good. Okay, so then main, instead of doing this, it needs to first create the field with field create. Wait, what was it doing with it? Widget add, right. And then try widget add, try add child field. Okay. Hello. So if we fix this and it works, we are down to 5454. <laughs> Wow, this is going pretty well, actually. So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously lots of these throughout the code base to deal with. Um, but these big, thick clusters of them are nice to do just just to get some numbers finally because I feel like with these videos I fix you know one or two fix me's and then before I record the next video people add like five or ten new ones so we we've just been rising in fix me's every day today we get to make a difference which is nice I like that uh, minesweeper okay well we're not quite there yet <laughs> Uh, constructor calling reset. Oh, I guess reset assumes that the um, images are already available, probably. So uh, reset. Yeah, we can just move that to um, technically, I guess we could do all of this in the factory function or in some kind of initialize function or whatever. Let's see. Reset and then it doesn't what does reset do? It just resets the game. Okay. I mean yeah, we can we can probably just do that here instead. <laughs> Come on now. I remember there's an alias MS for Minesweeper, <laughs> which I haven't used in a long time. Okay, well, it wasn't that trivial. Okay, let's just uh, yoink things into an initialize function. I don't like having logic in the constructor anyway. It's really goofy. So we'll do this. And it's possible that we would have more fallible things in there. Uh, like core timer, this could be a fail allocation. Currently, we just crash. So there's there's a lot of things that don't even create errors today, which would be nice to do, um, but. That's an endless yak shave. So we are here to make a little dent in where we started. Let's stick to that. Um, but, 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 but. Don't have to go down every uh, rabbit hole. Every yak hole. 
Okay, so... Hey, look at that. <laughs> I've not played this in forever. I kind of remember how it works. I mean... I should remember how it works. This one definitely touches. Um, this one must be, so this one can't be, and so on. It's, um, uh, it's kind of a fun game. Uh, so these already touched this one, which means that these can't be, this one must be, and so on, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Okay, I guess I should just finish the game, so... Uh, one, two, three, this one must be, so this one can't be. Um, this one must be, that one can't be. Right. A. <laughs> that face is so goofy. I, re I remember drawing that um, early, early on. Um, was supposed to be the cool face or similar to the cool face from um, from the Windows Minesweeper, but it just kind of looks a little goofier, which it's one of those like Minecraft win face. No, not Minecraft. <laughs> Minesweeper. Oh, look at these YouTube faces. Ah, uh, that one. Yeah, that's the cool face. But our, our cool phase is, like, way happier. <laughs> so it's not really cool. It's more, like, super excited. Anyway, I think I think we're going to be happy here. So um, that was, yeah, 54.54 down from 55.13. So that is 59 total today. Pretty awesome. Let's make a commit. Uh, we'll follow the same pattern as the earlier ones, but we'll just say Minesweeper mines, uh, for field. And how many did we get in this one? Uh, fix me. It was just eight. A pleasant eight fix me's. All right. So pretty good. Pretty good outcome. Got rid of a whole bunch of them for once. And uh, yeah, uh, it's not always going to be like this. I'm sure that next time we'll be back to, um, you know, fixing two as uh, new ones come in. But uh, for today, this was good. So <laughs> this will be the end of the video. If you made it here, thanks for watching, hanging out. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye.